With the clock ticking down to Election Day, ballots are pouring into county election offices across Oregon. Ballot security and transparency are on many voters' minds as they cast their votes. Tiffany Lewis takes us to Lane County, where officials are giving an in-depth look at how ballots are being processed and protected in Oregon. In the wake of attacks on ballot drop boxes in Portland and Vancouver on Monday, Lane County Elections is on high alert for any election security threats. We were aware that drop boxes were going to be a target. All election administrators across the country were. So we have fire suppressants, we have increased uh, patrols from our public safety partners, and we have um, increased monitoring of those drop boxes. Once you cast your ballot, it's never alone with one person again. Lane County Elections has at least two people from different different political parties handling your ballot at all times. If you dropped your ballot envelope in one of Lane County's 21 ballot boxes, teams of drivers pick them up and begin the sorting process. The county purchased these sorting machines in 2019 for about 250 grand. The machines scan the ballot's barcode and signature before being sorted and deconstructed or prepared for scanning by teams of temporary election workers. If there's an issue with your signature, a worker will manually review it to make sure it matches the signature in a voter's record. If there's an issue, a letter will notify you. You'll have until November 26th to fix your ballot. There are tight security measures implemented by Lane County Clerk Dina Dawson. Like each room requires two badges to enter, and the ballot counting room is especially under lock and key. Observers from local political parties are welcome to watch the process in person, but anyone can observe every step via the Lane County Elections live stream on their website. Ballots are then reconciled if there are any errors and placed into bins ready to be scanned on Election Day at 8 p.m.